and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 for another Survive the Hunt, starting in an unusual location, because we're going to be at the top of the map. We're going to be able to try, at least, at the top of the map. So, the, the area, the way this is going to work, let's go to the, to the map to show you. Uh, I am going to be using the northern part, so we are allowed to go down to well, where the road here joins the motorway, kind of chopping off across this part. So this is all the mountainous, the dangerous road is over there, this is kind of all yeah, interesting, tricky dirt parts. Uh, we then head along here, kind of using this bridge here as the boundary, and then this road along Sandy Shores, we're going along the top of Sandy Shores, uh, so then we've got the Sandy Shores bit is included, we then have along here up to the motorway, and then back down that way. So the sand dune area over here is included. I can bounce around in there should I feel the need. And then of course we've got Grape Seed, we've got Palito Bay and all of that. Uh, I'm starting in a helicopter. The reason for it, there is a good reason for this. Well actually what is the time? We will go, you know what, it's half past nine. Uh, let us set off and let us just buzz the cars that are there. Uh, the reason why I'm starting in a helicopter in this one is uh, if I drive out of the area and go find a vehicle like normal, when they find my car, they say when. If they find my car, they know. Oh, that was close. <laughs> it's a random fuck. But if they find my car, they know the direction I've got it because they know the they know it is, and they can kind of have a fairly sizable advantage for the start, which we don't want them to have. I don't want them to have any sort of advantage because it's difficult enough for me as it is. Um, now for. For them, they are not allowed aircraft. They are allowed only very, very basic uh, cars. That they, they can have personal vehicles. They would like put fancy colours on and that sort of stuff. But they're not allowed to have any performance upgrades of any sort on the vehicles, and they've got to be very basic personal cars. So they are a lot more limited in terms of vehicles. There's no praise for me to worry about. This is just a straight up: can I survive for 24 hours while that lot are hunting? Of course, as you can see on my screen, and will be for them. There is no map. There is no name over. Players. So I'm going to be trying to blend in. I'm going to be trying to be stealthy and all that, which is difficult uh, for this kind of this sort of area. I would say it's difficult. My biggest problem, my biggest challenge, if you will, is that I I don't know how I'm going to get away from them in the city because there's so many buildings, there's so many obstacles, there's so many different uh, difficult areas for them to follow you can lose a chase, but out here it's a lot tougher. It's not impossible, I hope. Uh, we're going to find out though, so that's the thing, we were going to find out fairly soon just how possible or impossible it might be. So we're going to ditch the helicopter uh, into the ocean, we're going to parachute down maybe onto the bridge? I don't know what's going to spawn out here either in terms of cars and stuff like that, that's something I haven't really thought about. Um, but things like cars, there's going to be different sorts of cars. Oh. Is that car? There's a car park somewhere along here. We can aim for that, actually. Why not? There might be a vehicle I can go and grab. Although, if I grab a parked car, it'll have a smashed window, so maybe we try and grab a uh, a non-parked car. Do I have a mental state rising because I've ditched a helicopter? Well, that's... Uh, <laughs> next game. Oh, yeah, and I got a wanted level. Crap, okay, maybe we just land the parachute first, and then we're going to have to call in a... Uh, no call in a Leicester because sorry we're gonna have to go for a car in a second but I need to call in a Leicester to oh, uh, if it isn't my creepy so I don't want to get shot at while no I'm doing problem. this excuse I'll me your, your car there that'll do very nicely oh, so they will have set off by now oh, uh, what I've got to do so I can't annoyingly I can't change my clothes while I'm in the car uh, I don't want to sit in the middle of the road while I'm firing around with this uh, so we're just gonna put ourselves off to the side now we're going to go and change our style. Uh, we are not to the Blakey today. Sure, you know what? That works for me. Uh, we will jump back into our car and we are good to go. We will spin it around, not damage it. Don't take the door off. Don't be a moron. Uh, can I rejoin here? Yes, I can. And all is good. Now we flew a helicopter across the map. We get a nice head start doing that. I mean, they will have set off before I've landed, but I'm so far away from them that they were, you know... That it won't, it won't matter. However, heading up towards Palito Bay here, they are going to be... I say close. If they've beelined towards Palito Bay, which let's face it, some of them are going to, they've got enough people that, yes, they are going to head in that direction. Uh, they've got enough people to, to cover some of those, and the hope is that we will be... 
okay. That's the, that's the plan. We can get through there, and once they're all spread out, then we should be relatively, relatively sorted. The Oracle here is an okay car. It's not the best getaway car uh, that we could have in the game. Of this spawn set, though, it's certainly not too bad. Uh, Super Diamond is quick. In terms of a straight-line speed car, I don't know what it's like. I mean, it's a bit big. Uh, it's probably not so good off-road. I would like something all-wheel drive so I could utilise the off-road. We've got no real off-road ability in the Oracle if and when we might need it. However, the off-road options are ranchers and rebels, which, okay, may have a little more traction, but they're so slow that they'll be useless in a chase anyway. So we're going to kind of not really worry about that, I think. We're going to have to not worry about that. I can't afford to worry about that uh, at the moment. So, uh, for a second I thought it was like snowing, I don't know what Earth is, but it's like the particle effects from the forest. Sure, uh, I guess we can head this way. Ah, we may run a red light a little bit there, it's fine. It is all good. What have we got up ahead? No, just stuff loading in. The Saddler... I mean, is that maybe a tiny bit faster than a... Probably a bit faster. If I was going for a 4x4 off-roady thing, that is what I would go for. There is a Vigoro doing a U... That's a suspicious U-turn for a Vigoro in front of a... Um, uh, what's it called? Car. In front of a Hunter car. Uh, don't tell me that they have just immediately recognised the vehicle. That is not what we wanted to have to be doing here. Now... We are going to come to a halt here. Can I do... I want to try and do the trick to hold the light on, because if they, th if they see I've got the lights on, they might think, Oh, really? Oh, screw you, AI asshole. I was trying to be clever, and it might possibly have worked. Had a, uh, I was hoping that they'd look at it, they'd see the brake lights go on, and even if they were initially suspicious, they'd go, Oh, well, that can't be me. That can't be... That, that can't be Alex. Why would it be Alex? Instead, we got screwed over by a bloody emperor farting around. Now, a bold... Uh, boldy? Boldy? Bodhi? Whatever the damn thing's called. Uh, we're not going to be able to get away from that off-road, because that is better than me here. Uh, my only hope is that it'll fall over! It's gone for a roll! And I'm hoping I might lay out a brake line of sight with a really, really cheeky little manoeuvre here. Did it see? Uh, I did see. Oh, I was hoping in the rolling it was going to miss where I went. Uh, damn it. I mean... There is a plan forming currently here. Um, there is a there is a really, really, really dumb plan. I don't know whether this is going to work at all. Uh, <laughs> There is a really, really stupid plan. If this jet ski can start quickly, uh, we are... Go! Goodbye, Jeep! You tried, they, tried, they threw the Jeep at me. <laughs> I respect the effort there. 10 out of 10 effort right there from the Jeep. I think they were trying to run, like, hit me off the, uh, off the jet ski to... Um, to do something because they knew I was about to get on the thing. Because I have such firepower advantage when I'm out of the car and there was only one of them there, they didn't know really what to do. They're going to, I guess, try and grab a jet ski as well. Uh, I presume that is them in the background. Uh, there's going to be a lot of... Well, this is a different thing. We've never had a boat chase before. The thing is, though, I've gone the wrong way, really, for the boat chase because up here we haven't got much I can do. We just go around the top of the map. Uh, so we're going to have to try something. Uh, a little sneaky, I suspect. Because I think that's them behind me. We have to try and lose them in the rocks. Well, it is a first for Survive the Hunt. And actually, we don't want to go too close to the coast. Oh! Because if there are people around, they can potentially cause me trouble. Uh, Alright, so we kind of... Yeah, we don't really want... We don't really want to be out here. That's the thing. Uh, we, none of this is really what we want to be doing. I'm hoping if I can be a little sneaky, potentially... Uh, uh, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go here? Uh, do I spot another jet ski anywhere? We kind of want to go out to sea a bit. Uh, I don't know where the thing that was following me was. I don't know where it's gone. Yep, yeah, we'll go crashing out through the waves. So I've got to get back to land at some point. I can't just go out here indefinitely. Um, I don't want to be going this way. No, it's still following us. It's over there. <laughs> This is a proper Bond film now. It's the most use we've ever had of water in GTA 5. Can I, like, skirt or, like, surf the waves uh, along here? Yeah, that's something. 
I mean, I feel like the only thing we're going to have to do here... I have a really dumbass plan, but it could work! We, this is a day for dumbass plans. Uh, could we make this work? If we get out of here, get an actual useful gun, can we take them out? Because as it stands, I can't shake them. Uh, they're going to be way too far gone out there. But it's done the job of what I needed it to. It buys me a little bit of time here. The, the jet ski isn't sunk, so they've run away. And my hope is... Oh, go, 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 jet ski, go. That if they turn around to try and come back and get me, which is a sensible thing to do, which is a logical thing to do... Um, now they got they did turn around in time to see me, so we were trying to be sneaky. It was a good idea, just couldn't quite execute it well enough. Uh, now, the issue I'm going to have is trying to get back to the coast. How does one get back to the coast and not get shot to pieces? Where can we get back to the coast and not get shot to pieces? Um, they're a long way back, but of course they're going to be able to give calls. So the cars are going to be way quicker. Uh, I can get back to the coast in a really awkward place, but then I'm on foot for a long time. Can I spot cars on the beach? No. Oh, I don't know where the sort of inlets are around here. The jet ski is a long... It's a, we've made some distance in doing this little manoeuvre, but it's also, of course, given them a lot of time to get vehicles here ready and waiting. We might have to have a little bit of a shootout somewhere uh, if we're going to make this work. Whether we go back by jet ski, whether we go... I should have gone the other way. I should have gone towards uh, the dangerous road. I wasn't quite where I thought I was, but it's really easy to get turned around and lost in this mess, basically. Uh, we are going to have to make landfall somewhere, I think. Uh, somewhere around like this is probably as good as any spot. Chuck the jet ski up the hill. Uh, they are going to be... Alright, so they, I mean, they've they've kind of lost me a little bit in that uh, the jet ski plan is going to fail. Now, the cars are going to be around. I can't... I don't know how to get out of here subtly. If I don't even know how to get out of here full stop. Uh, cars will search this area way better than me running around on foot. But, you know, we've lost the jet ski in, in, in some ways. That's a good sign. I kind of want one of them to find me, kill them, and nick their car. This is the best plan that I have currently got. I can see the jet skis out there. I'm hoping they won't be able to see me up here on foot. We're kind of at the top of a hill. There is a car. I mean, this is not safe. I can categorically tell you this is not safe, but it is difficult to see. The flare went up. A flare went up because I think that was where my jet ski is. The camera freaking out is not helping because of the... I might have got myself in a predicament here because the camera is freaked out. It doesn't know what on earth to focus on, which means I'm stuck with fuzzo vision trying to look into any other directions. I can't see any other directions, of course, because there's a tree in the way. Do I have any further back camera? Okay, fuzzy vision is a little better from this. Holy crap, I don't think they can see me in the bush. How does one get out of this area? I legit don't know at this point. They've got, so they've sent up the flares to signify the rough area. But how the hell does one get out of this area now? <laughs> Stage man is running around on foot. As is someone else, I don't know who that is, is running around on foot. I, I can't do anything, I can't open fire at them at this point. Listen, this is uh, Tony... Go away, Tony. This is not the time to give me a call. Literally everyone has ran past here. I think almost the entire group has run past me at this point. So they're going to have to be working on the basis that they've missed me. I think that they're, they're, their thinking is going to be that I have run past them and they've somehow, I've somehow snuck my way out of here. Uh, I've got to keep spinning the camera to make sure someone doesn't sneak up on me, but I also have to keep checking to make sure that that lot don't find me where I am. Uh, Longbow was aiming, but I think was aiming at whoever that is. I think it's Longbow anyway. I'm, I'm guessing at the people here. Uh, they, th they, they must. They are currently thinking that I've gone over the top of the hill. I think. Can't 
Car has gone past again. Oh, I really don't like this. I fear we might be about to get into trouble here if we're not careful. If they look the right way, they'll see me. What the hell can I do at this point? This is like we had with the bloody truck in the No Limits one, where I just, I can't move. Because if I move, I get shot. I have firepower advantage. Yes, that's great. I've lost sight of the people that were around me. Maybe they think I've snuck back to the jet skis? Okay, this is not me camping. I said this is not me camping. I technically am, but this is legit. Where the hell do I go? <laughs> like, if I move, I get shot. So I've got to sit and hide in a bush. I am the worst, best getaway. No, the worst. I'm just the worst. It was a good, dumb, stupid plan that really shouldn't have worked. I don't even know. At what point do I go, right, yes, I need to move now. I am safe. Surely they've got to have thought I'm out of here. Surely they have to have got to a stage of thinking, right, I can't still be stuck here. They must They must get to that stage at some point. They're still running around. I can still see the primo. I can still see one of them uh, running about. Now, are they getting into the car? Yes, I think they're trying to leave the area. That's what we want to see. I want to see them leaving, because if I see them leaving, that means I'm in the clear. I say I'm in the clear. I'm really not in the clear on this one. I don't know if I ever will be in the clear. What's up there? I don't know, but if I, I can't move, I don't want to move. Oh, this is horrific. It's like the Bincident, only it's worse. It's the bush... bush. I don't know how to do... I don't know how to turn the bush into the... the it doesn't work as well. It doesn't flow as well as the Bincident. Don't think about t funny titles now. Not at this moment in time where we're so nearly free of horrific times. At what point do we go? At what point... Do, if we, When we move, we're going downhill. I'm going down the hill along the bottom to the beach. That is the plan. Okay, the, re the reason why that is the plan as well is if there are any cars about, they're going to have... They're working on the assumption on the other side of the hill. They're working on the assumption that I've managed to sneak past them. So they're going to be searching the other side. There's not going to be any cars randomly wandering around down here because there's no road. The road is the other side of the hill. So the hope is if I can get down there, I think... I mean, I'd like to wait until night time. What time did I set off? Half nine? We can live in a bush. <laughs> Uh, right, I think we've got to start thinking about moving here. I haven't seen anybody for a little while. If we do see anyone, we'll just have to shoot them. Yeah, we're going. We're going. We're going downhill. I'm hoping if I'm really lucky, someone's boat might still be here. Hell, my jet ski may still be here. Uh, I can't see anybody. Oh, uh, this has been a thing that I have not enjoyed not enjoyed one bit. Uh, so, how are you liking the north of the map? We've seen some scenery, we've seen some ocean, and now we're going to see some more ocean. Ugh, I'm gonna get a bit soggy. That's fine. So this is a really difficult bit for them to see me on anyway. Yes, am I playing this really safely? Yes. Is it a bit cheeky? Sure. The fact that I'm alive here is astonishing. I don't know how I survived that. And if I run over the top of the hill, if there is anybody hanging around, we're done for. So. I'm doing the thing that keeps me alive, basically, uh, at this at this moment in time, because I can't see over the hill, I can't see how far away they may or may not be. Sadly, it looks like no boats are still around, uh, which is unfortunate for me. Would have liked to have had a boat to go and get away from, get away with, I should say. Uh, can't see anything um, at all here, so yeah, I'm sticking below this ridge line just in case there is a car. There is something... Oh, I might have to go over here, because I don't really want to go swimming if I can help it. I don't know whether the waves, like, crash you against the rocks. I don't know if that can injure you. I feel like possible. Oh! I think this is where I ditched... Where did I ditch my jet ski? I don't actually know. Um, the sun is setting, and I see a beach! Civilization is here. I'm going to have a bloody check. Someone did abandon their jet ski up there. That's a long way inland. I presume it must have been one of them. I can't see anybody. I mean, if there is somebody there, if they've been this patient, I'd be impressed. Uh, actually, I'm going to keep my gun out. Because, uh, actually, no. Here, I might get away with being a random AI. Like, on the beach, you might get away with it. Because there are AIs around. I mean, there's a campfire here. It normally would have people. 
So we may get away with this being a random AI. I'm going up to that car park. I will not be driving an Emperor, but I will hope and pray that there is something a little bit better, basically. Uh, we have lived. For now. So, you know what I said about getting away? It's super difficult. Yeah, it is. I made it more difficult for myself. We did it a bit of a weird-ass way, but we have done the job. That's not a way I ever thought would work. I was kind of more hoping I'd be able to kill the driver of the truck. If I could take out the driver, I'd hope that that would, that would do the trick for me. Sadly, that kind of didn't work. Though well, they, they realised what I was about to do, so they fled to not get shot. Sensible thing at the end of the day. Um... And then we had to do a backup plan. Should I have stayed in the car? Eh, maybe. Well, I say should I stay in the car? Look, we got away at the end of the day. That is the important bit that matters here. We did get away. Oh, That's the mini pretty. might be a thing to go for. That could be fun. Actually, a very pretty sunset we've got going on here. Uh, <laughs> sure, you know what? Maybe we'll have this as a thumbnail image. I don't know. Uh, possibly. Please don't be a hunter driving a mini. I don't think they would. I think that's just an AI car being a bit weird. Me rejoining the road here is going to be fun. Do I drive a Mini? Do I drive a Super Diamond? Ooh, I don't want to drive an Orange Mini because someone's going to look at an Orange Mini. Ooh, do I drive a Buffalo? What's better, than a, what's better, a Super Diamond or a Buffalo, do we reckon? It's a good question. I don't actually know. You know, we don't normally drive Super Diamonds. Screw it. Yoink! Uh, let's go have a smash window. That's annoying. And he's going to have an alarm. Shush car, shush car. Uh, I just realised I've got my gain sound down really low. Which isn't going to help me. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Please, shut up, please, shut up. Shush, shush, etc, etc. Shut up, thank you. Uh, what way do we go? I mean, the, one of the issues we do have, actually, I should have driven the buffalo, because if we get seen driving in some places, it's going to be a dead giveaway. We can maybe cruise the motorway for a little bit, just to kind of buy ourselves some time here. Uh, the problem i got now is how the hell do I get onto the road from up here, like an AI car? Uh, I don't know, can I rejoin the road in a sensible manner that doesn't look all that suspicious? Nope, not really. I have to hope that none of them are around. And one of them was. Please don't be looking that way. Oh, piss off. Piss right off. All of that effort. All of that effort. To have got screwed by possibly that. I don't know how I, how you actually join the road up there. Uh, my hope is that maybe they're going to be annoyed. Maybe the police can annoy them enough. That uh, they're going to leave it alone. They're never going to leave this alone, I don't think. They know... They, they're, they're too... No, I say no way are they going to just leave that because they didn't hit it hard enough to be a kill. What are they doing? I can't just sit here and wait forever and ever. Oh, no, they want they just want the police car. Nobody saw that but I'm not doing anything at all. No, 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 I'm going to go over a mountain now. Oh, hiss! There was someone who I didn't see. Ah, they did see it. Ah, but that thing's terrible. The rat truck or whatever, not rat truck, June loader. June loader, I believe, that is the one. That thing's got no power. So it's got traction, but it is terribly underpowered. Do we reckon it can follow? I don't know. Do I have enough traction to make it up here? Nope! Because I've got spun and lost out, and now I'm in trouble with a pissing super diamond on the side of a mountain. No! Oh, damn it. Maybe I shouldn't have gone up the hill. Uh, where is it, though? Does it know where I've gone? I don't know where I've gone at the moment. We're just going downhill. Um... Um... I don't know where to go from here. This is not a safe place for me car. I am very stuck down here as well, potentially. 
I'm back on foot again. If only I could go through that grate or something. Um, there is no way we get out of this nicely here. Um, oh, why do? I, oh, I actually got rid of Stevie. Sweet. That is a lucky as anything headshot. Uh, <laughs> I can't drive it. It's obviously a personal vehicle that they forgot to change the settings. They're not supposed to leave that setting, but it's really easy to left it by accident. Uh, will Stevie have said where he was? That is the question. We're back to going in the hill. I don't know how I got a headshot there. I don't know how I'm going to get out of here. Again, we find ourselves on foot. The driving channel is not driving, and I don't like it. I want to drive. <laughs> I really want to drive. Oh, we are so dead. We are so, so gonna die out here. I mean, the hope is that they can't get up the hill. They'll get stuck trying to get up the hill, because it's a really difficult hill. It's a really, really steep hill. Okay, I shouldn't have gone in that gully. Uh, hindsight is twenty twenty, of course. Never, ever should have gone in that gully. Where are they? I can see shots pinging out. Could be police. There could be police angry about some of this battle. Um, I'm tr again, this is the whole try and keep the camera spinning constantly. Check left and right. See if anything's going to come in. I mean, what are they going to think that I've done here? I, I, I hate sitting still, but it's just, what what option do I have here? I can't really run any further that way. And I've moved from the tree, I might well get spotted. Nighttime is great news for me. Um, we are going to be a lot more difficult to see. I can definitely see someone walking along there, but I don't want to go and start a firefight. If I don't have to. There's a car in this area, so they're going to be searching the area. They're probably going to be looking for another incident idea. That car there is out. Did the police car see me? No. I mean, no, because it wouldn't go that way if it did. I'd see what, if a train could come past and pick me up, that would be lovely. I mean, that would be full-on 10 out of 10 a scar paying on the back of a train. There's still at least one person running around on foot down there. There. I see them just run into the ditch. I might not have a choice but to kill them. And then this is going to open a world of pain for me. Is no wait, it's an AI. That's just an AI. That's not one of them. Ooh! <laughs> I thought it was one of them. I did genuinely think that was one of them there. It's just a freaked out AI. Oh, so that might actually help me out here. Oh, there's more cars. Leave! Please leave! I want to move from my tree! So far, we've visited so much scenery, we're, we're, we're going to have a firefight any second now. Because someone is going to go up past this tree, and I will have no choice but to shoot them. But what the hell do I do until then? I can't move from here, because if I move, I get seen. If I shoot, I get seen. If I stay still, I might not get seen. If we do shoot, we're going to have a big firefight, and it's going to be a mess around here. Uh, yes, I have a big firepower advantage. It's wonderful and all. However... Uh-oh. If that makes it, if it doesn't make it, I might be in trouble here. Please make it. I've never wanted a hunter vehicle to make it over a hill more than I do that one. Because if it can make it to the other side it has and it didn't see me I want to not be here can I get a teleport <laughs> I can hear something how on earth where have they come from and how have they not seen me or have they are they turning around cars are searching a lot of places They've got to think I've moved from here by now. Surely the police car has fallen over. I think that's Chris. Um, flare has gone up again. They're using the flares a lot out here. Ah. There is one now right next to me. 
Okay, that's bad. That's bad. Uh, I think we're in trouble now. Oh, my character has done not what I asked it to. Move. Oh. I don't know where the shot came from there. There was a shot from somebody. Uh, there is someone. Uh, we can get them down. Get in cover. Okay, we can't get cover behind that tree. We ran out of bullets. Why does that gun have like... Oh, no, I pressed the wrong button. That's why the gun was reloading. I pissed this up trying to get into a tree. <sighs> it's so annoying. It's so annoying. I, I don't know what more I could have done in that one, really. I guess... I, ultimately, I could have not driven myself into the gully. It would have been the way to go. Um, I don't know why they were still hanging around there. They, they, they were there for so long that uh, it makes it very, very difficult to uh, try and get out of it. So I don't know why. I mean, at the end of the day, they were right. I was there. Uh, I don't know why it was that... Uh, yeah, I say why. It's annoying that they didn't try and move on. Um, if I could get out of there quickly... I mean, if I got out of there quickly, it would have been great. They would have been completely and utterly screwed. Uh, unfortunately, yeah. It is always a difficult thing. It is always a difficult thing. Um, oh dear! Oh dear! We're gonna die again. Well, there we go. Survive the hunt in the north part of the map is very different and very bloody difficult. I will say that much. Um, it was interesting. That's for sure. It was. It was interesting. It's yeah. Maybe need some work, but it was quite good fun. I don't know what's going to fill the rest of this video. Something. Something will. But this has at least been entertaining. Uh, hopefully we're going to see some interesting... Maybe see some different things. Uh, but hopefully we can find something helpful. I don't know what spawns where. So, but no one does. This is the thing. No one knows what traffic is spawning where. Uh, so no one really knows what's out of place. Uh, I do know I'm not going to be... Well, I mean, I will drive a rancher if I have to. A super diamond could be good fun. In the pouring rain, of course. Can I cross the road? It should have looked... <laughs> run across the road like a lunatic. Don't be like me. Uh, right, let's go. We're going to be the least... I mean, in this, this guys, we suit to super diamond. We're not the sneaky Blakey today. Um, we'll go for that. Sure. Oh, they didn't like me blowing up a helicopter. Excuse me. Lester, good buddy. Could we possibly? I just need you to get rid of the fuzz so that I can uh, borrow a, a super diamond. Thank you. Hi, uh, please be unlocked. Oh, right. Okay, oh, well, it's, everything's and dark and dreary. I'm going to hope no one notices the window. Uh, I did not... I didn't do my haircut today. Oh, no! Bad things have happened. I think I can do that. I'm not prepared. I am a complete professional. Uh, wait, I do, uh, I have glasses on, I guess that's something. Um, we might have to go to the hairdressers. Now, there's one somewhere in Polito Bay, if I can figure out where it is, I can try and get to it. Um, and we can go and do that there. It's not, it's not an ideal situation I find myself in. It's going to take up a little while to get across it, so they'll be released by now. I think they'll be released probably before I made it down on the ground, but the, the, the distance that I can cover in that chopper is far greater than they can, so... I, yeah, my head start is as good as it gets for now. However, my head start will dwindle slightly because some of them are going to, like, they don't have to fail the way I went. They can head up and we'll head to Polito Bay because they know that's one of the places I'm likely to go. They know I'm likely to check it out. It's a good place for me to try and lose them. And these weather conditions aren't great for me in some regards uh, in terms of getting away. The, di the Super Diamond is tough. It's relatively fast certainly compared to what is spawning. Not really good off-road. I mean, theoretically, we can go over Chiliad and we can hope that I'll make less mistakes than them. But the difference is, is that they can go full kamikaze and try and knock me off the mountain and it doesn't matter if one misses. Uh, it's difficult to lose them on Chiliad because, well, it's a single path. You know, they'll say I'll go up Chiliad and everyone knows what way to go. Uh, it, it's a possible, though. It, it's one of those, like, that's a thought. It might have to happen at some point. We will wait and see. I don't know what the hairdressers look like here. I don't really know what the actual... Like I said, I'm so used to, if we're going to something like... If I'm doing something like that in at any point while playing GTA, it is a case of I'll put the dot on the map and that's that. There is the first of the vehicles that we have seen. It is a felon in bright pink that is driving around at Polito Bay. Hmm, okay. 
Now, this makes it more difficult for me. If I've got to park up somewhere, uh, we have got a Primo on the move, also heading the same direction that I want to go. Very annoying. Uh, <laughs> Are we going to get any chance to filter? Here we go. Come on, Emperor. Yes, this is what we like to see. We are able to make this turning across the junction in front of everybody. Damn, that's scary. Like, we just had to turn, and I had to hope that I looked natural enough. So, I don't know. I would imagine any shop would be down this main kind of alleyway bit. But uh, I don't know for sure. There is another one of them. I'm in the wrong bloody lane, but I've got to go this way. I'm in the wrong lane, but I can't fart around because if I do, we're going to get in trouble. Uh, that looks like it may well be one of them. That looks like a Blakey, actually. Did they park up? That's the question. Are they going to come around the corner and try to shoot me? Did they know? My character, I mean, we're wearing sunglasses... Uh, it depends on how much attention you... I don't know how much attention you're going to pay. I feel like I could be in trouble if I go... If slash when I go around this corner. There is a Primo in reverse uh, heading along there that was checking something. And I've got to go this way because I'm committed to this route here. This doesn't really look great for me, if I'm honest with you. Um, no, this does not look great for me here, does it? Uh, we're going to have to get, I think, a little bit creative, possibly, here. Yeah, I've got too many cars around me. Oh, there's no traction. There's literally zero traction in the Super Diamond. Uh, I was worried Blakey was going to be on foot and go try and shoot. Yeah, okay, so I slightly messed that one. Oh, there is literally zero grip. I just turned the car and nothing. There's just no, no grip at all. I've got to hope that Chris makes a mistake here. I think it's Chris with a Primo. Normally is. Um... I'm going to have to hope for a mistake. Now, one of the plus points I have is nobody really knows this part of the map very well. Not as well as we know the, the city, so the call-outs as to where I am is more difficult for them at the end of the day. I have a dumb plan here. Oh, it might work. It may not work. Oh, oh I couldn't get on the brakes. I was hoping my dumb plan did not quite work. Uh, the idea was I was going to get on the brakes and have the car shoot over and I could be on that dirt road and get out of there, but it didn't work. Oh, that's a dead end of a beach. I thought I could go around the head of the uh, map. I cannot. It is more difficult out here. Oh, there's so little traction. The Primo's surely going to be struggling way worse than I am here. Can it get up the hill? It's got a little bit more momentum than I do. Okay, there's a car up there. I don't want to have a tussle with that one. Right, let's head towards the bridge. Oh, I can't think we can jump it from this way, can we? Uh, car has fallen down. Nope, we cannot. Uh, that's fine. We're going to go down here. I'm try Again, my, my plan currently is give them grief for the cars behind us. Uh, but I don't actually know how well it's going to work. We've made a little bit of a gap, actually. You know what? Ah, that's fine. There's someone got a truck stuck in the pier. <laughs> this is the current plan. The best strategy I've got is just give them grief. I want the fog and the murk to stay because that makes it really difficult to see. Uh, we have got some straight line speed, but not as much as that. Uh, bow, a bowl the Oh no, that's a water. Please, someone fall in the water. Did not realise there was a lot of water there. There is a lot of water there. Uh, I'm hoping somebody fell in it. I don't think anyone did, sadly. Uh, now, this is not where I want to go with a super diamond up against these cars. Uh, but I've got to try and just keep moving at this point. Super diamond off roading is not strong. However, the shafter into the door. Come across in front of the fella. We've got that just ahead. Okay, time to put the power down. Super Diamonds, you're back on sensible terrain. Off-road has not worked. There is a van. Oh, dodge the van. That uh, tanking, I really hope, isn't one of them because I'm not going to be able to get out of the way of it in time. Uh, that's, that's fine. Uh, we are going to jump on the brakes. Oh, avoid the back of a Sand King. Oh, God, there's a rebel. Not rebel, what is it? Uh, Ratra? No, not Ratra. I can't remember what it's called now. Loader of some sort. Oh, that is a good play from them. There, I did not even register. I just saw that as an AI car. I mean, it's not helped them in some regards that it's just turned me around. I've got to go drive into them. Oh, that's not drive throughable. Why is that signpost not drive throughable? In all of that. We can hopefully... There's a gap there. They left a gap in amongst all the vehicles. Well, we've been spun around again. Uh, it's just no one's got any traction in all of this. I just can't move uh, through here, but no one, no one can really move. Uh, through this. We'll spin it around down here at least. Oh, I'll wait for the bullets to come pinging into the door. 
Uh, that is an AI car, amazingly, which I didn't think it was. Because uh, <laughs> it got on the brakes. The reason I'm going up here is because it's narrow, I'm hoping somebody gets stuck. Uh, Ewan has just shot off to the side to try and cut me off, so not going to go that way. That's fine. Someone, if they're clever, is going to be on the tarmac road. Uh, expecting me to come back down there. I'm not going to do that either. Not yet, anyway. Uh, we're going to up here. Uh, it would be great if there was a train and I could have landed in it. That would have been a 10 out of 10. There is a train, actually, not that far away. It would be a 10 out of 10 moment if it landed in the back of it. Because you got carted off by it. Uh, the Super Diamond that was following has got into trouble. Somewhere back there. Did it roll? It might have fallen over, you know. Uh, we have got to use blinding speed from our Super Diner. The problem is, is that there's going to be someone on the tarmac, and that's faster than being out here. Uh, oh, oh, Super Diamond, come back down. Thank you. Good God, that was close. Uh, okay, maybe that's what happened. We had some technical disconnections. I'm going to utilize this. Use it to my advantage. A Scarpe away, I think everyone has disconnected. Fuck. I've got a Holden. I haven't. Not driven this very much on here. I built it for something. I can't remember what I built it for, and it never really worked. Um, so I've rebuilt it a little bit for this, trying something a little bit different. Basically, put some weight back in, but then put a bunch of power in it. Uh, I remember this vehicle being very, very good on motorsport games, and I can never make it quite work as well on Horizon 4, but I'm hoping it's still going to be pretty good. Uh, at the end of the day. And I, I've been watching a lot of old older V8 supercar races on YouTube, so I'm in the mood for some V8 supercars, basically. Um, I know the Durama's quite good. I've used one, or you probably wherever it's pronounced. I've used one before, quite like it as a vehicle. In lower classes, generally, I know we've got an A-class one, but yeah, generally quite like them. Uh, that's probably going to be relatively fast in a straight line. I'm hoping I'll outhandle it. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. Uh, it does look like that is the case for this big scrap going on behind us. Okay, I'm liking, so far, I'm liking my Commodore. It's good. <laughs> We've got some speed uh, about it, that's for sure. Lamborghini is actually s sort of smoking the inside front tyre uh, across there. Don't get oversteers. A little kick from me, a little too much of a kick from me. And we end up in the fence. Thank you, HSV. <laughs> Fellow, fellow Aussie car giving a hand to somebody stuck a little bit in the bog. Yeah, just, I just care, I tried to carry a little too much speed on. Understeered myself wide, that's my bad on that one. Uh, that is all over the back of us having a look. Now, my trick's going to be not understeer too wide down here, or not wander too wide down here. We've got the HSV. Oh, no, I don't think it's HSV. Oh, no it's, no, it's something else, isn't it? Oh, I can never remember. They're all very, very similar. Uh, I was going to try to cut back underneath it for the exit here. It might work. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, <laughs> we've got more speed than the above. I know I have a lot more speed than that Stratos. So, yeah, we are better up the hill here. Oh, although that's a little too wide. Keep foot down. Do not lift. We do not lift. No, you didn't push me wide. I went wide on my own through there. <laughs> Absolutely nothing wrong. Sometimes you can, sometimes it can look a little bit like it is decent wise. Nope, that was all me. That was me going for my own exploring. There, we're still going to be stuck on the outside. I think we might finally get the move done uh, through there. There we go. Yeah, I got stuck on the outside, and once we were out there, just nope, I'm not going to lift from that. Uh, we might as well just sort it out how we can. Oh, here comes that Abarth. Okay, so the Abarth's got great handling. Uh, that thing's got great handling, but it's got no straight line speed, which means he's going to have a really difficult time finding a way past, especially to quite powerful Aussie cars, because every straight we're just going to go and make that gap. I'm a little bit annoyed at myself here. I feel like. Oh, I say that, but we're out of shape here. I feel like we have a quick car, but that little mistake has kind of cost me. Although maybe everyone's just finding the level with theirs and able to extract a little bit more speed uh, as the laps go on. I'd like quite like a podium, if at all possible. The GT whatever it is, I'll have to try and remember the name. He's having a look. Up the hill we go. This is where we have the power. The V8 power of the Commodore is a lot we're going to try and duck underneath. There's a little bit of uh, a little bit of a hello, how's it going kind of a bump on the way past. Uh, we will now have to try and defend. We're going to have to defend for the end part of this lap, really, because I know how strong that uh, one, two, four is through this section. It's actually an interesting, it's an interesting track. I quite like the tracks out on Fortune Island. 
But you've got this real mix of parts here. You've got that long hill that having the power is wonderful. I think it makes a fair difference this this direction perhaps and the other way around the circuit. Because that downhill the downhill bit's not as bad for the car's light on power. But it is better it's much worse having to go up the hill. Uh oh. This is about to go really badly for me. But really badly for the Abarth. The poor Abarth is just stuck. It's gonna try and fight back, but this works for me here because the Fiat is slow through this section, so we may well be able to, well we will just climb over it, and if the other Aussie machine takes a funky line, they're both slow coming onto the straight, guess what Commodore has all of the speed in the world? <laughs> it would be me! Although we are going to have to be to the, oh, we're going to understeer, okay, now we return the little lean through there. I'm going to try and cut back underneath down here. It's going to, we're going to get to the door. There's a little bit of paint swapping from the two cars. The leaders are gone. Oh, in fact, Speedy's missed a checkpoint. I don't, oh, it's still there. It's still there having a look around the outside. We're going to have to go a very long way, and I don't think I have the grip to make that one work there. The Abarth is at a huge dive, and fair play. I think he did clonk the back of the other car. The Abarth may get both of us. It will get both of us. Is that going to keep it out of the wall? Oh! <laughs> it's all change on the line. Oh, and I got fourth. Damn. Oh. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Once the Yoraba found some speed, it was gone. At the West, it was gone. It's pretty close in terms of that side. Yeah, once the, once the Yoraba found some speed, it really was a case of uh, us five at the front were kind of quicker than than the, than the rest by a couple of seconds almost. We got some pace around that uh, around that circuit. Yeah, the Rama did good. The Abarth was monumentally grippy, but had trouble in the corners. We had a fantastic battle with HSV GTSR. There we go. It was a HSV. We had a fantastic battle there. Uh, for a lot of the race at the Abarth sneaking in at the end. That was a fantastic race. We head to the Westwick Wharf circuit for a final race here. It is a bit of a different circuit to the tracks we've driven so far. Uh, it is a small, compact, probably not going to be fun one for my Holden. Okay, it's kind of acceleration zones a bit, but... Uh, yeah, I... I don't know. I'm not expecting to be it. I will maybe fight for a pound. I think that the, the Rama's going to be too quick. Almost accelerating. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll give it a try with our car and do what we can here. Uh, the Stratos might not be too bad either of this one because it's kind of a bit stop-starty and might not have issues with its, its twitchiness. The Abarth I expect to be strong because the straights aren't long enough for it to really come undone down. Uh, but listen, we'll have to wait and see on, on this front. We're still in the nice... Oh, we're, we're in the nice ghosty-ghosty mode. We're now out of the nice ghosty mode. God damn it, I was trying to be sneaky and make the most of it when I could. Uh, sadly, I cannot. Oh, someone's throwing a cone at me! God damn it, don't throw cones. That's not very nice. I can we... It's very difficult to overtake down here when they're already too wide. We're going to go the long way around here. Hope the Daytona has the grip. It does. We're to the outside. The Porsche's had a really good run so far, actually. That does surprise me. Uh, struggled to get stopped for the first corner, but uh, yeah, the 9 been doing good so far. Has yeah, got a little bit of trouble down there. Uh, has been passed by the by the Abarth. The Stratos is busy fighting with the large winged beast. Oh, the HSV has got ensnared with the Porsche. I'm going to say thank you for the wonderful opportunity there. We're to the outside, but that might be a little bit too much of an ask for the Commodore. Uh, we give plenty of space because there's bound to be something. There it is. The HSV is there, but cannot uh, make it stick. Maybe this track is a little more suited to my car than I realised. It does seem to be enjoying these straights. I mean, I was enjoying the straights, but uh, yeah, it's not so bad around here. Uh, we head through the first corner. The Abarth is looking. It may well get the pass done on the Lambo, on the exit, although it just can't quite... This is going to be an infuriating race for that Abarth, I think. It's going to be one of those races where it's constantly... It, it's quick, but it's constantly stuck behind... I say power cars, but it's constantly stuck behind machines that are faster than it down the straight. So every time it does a pass through a corner, which is good, is then just immediately retaken as we head down the next straight. Uh, we pull clear of the Abarth as we go hunting 
uh, for that Lamborghini now. Oh, HSV is there to the door. It had a look, couldn't quite get it done. <laughs> I think it was busy fighting with the Abarth on its in its own in its own right, in its own way there. Um, so, yeah, that's that was always went for. It wasn't really trying to overtake me. It's trying to beat the beat the Abarth, perhaps, and just got a little bit wrong. Uh, we try, I'm trying to be brave into some of these corners to to hunt down that Lambo. I know I've got to be here, really. Uh, we have the best top speed of everyone here in this group, maybe not overall, but of this group that's battling at the front, we have the highest top speed. Uh, can we do anything, though, about the Lamborghini? We've got to get it spot on in all these braking zones. And, oh, we slide. No, I said we've got to be spot on. We weren't spot on. We slid the car. Just lights up the rear tyres. It's not what we want. Uh, it's been very well planted so far, this. However, just little, little slides as we got on the throttle has cost us, and now we're more defending from the HSV than we are attacking, although we had a very good run at this end of the circuit. Don't light up the tyres this time around. It's good for the Commodore. Uh, again, we can kind of reel back in in one section. I think the slide at the start of the lap might have cost us an opportunity here. We still want to defend, though, this second place. We can't get complacent. We know how fast the HSV has been, and it's there. It's looking. Don't get on the kerb too much. That's much better. If we'd have done that last time around, we'd have been all good. We're clear off the corner. We know we have to accelerate everything here, so we will hopefully be clear. <laughs> it's the constant flicking of the stick, looking back at the cars behind you, just see, is there someone going to be close enough? Are they going to have a dive? I don't think... Unless I go... Unless I get things very, very wrong up here, I don't think the HSV is going to be close enough to have a look. It wants to, but we will just outrun it. We can kind of cut back on the exit down here uh, and block any run. It can't do it. It's been a good... It's been a good, it's been a good challenge from the Commodore. We just couldn't quite make it. We're just a few tenths out, I think, for for a lap time. Yeah, just a tenth down. So close to the lap time. It's 41.3, 41.4, 41.6, 42.3 for the Abarth. Just couldn't match the straight line speed. There's a whole bunch of cars in those 42s. Whew. Yeah, we tried. But the NSX was quick down there with the 42.3. Uh, the stuck in traffic probably, but it was it was quick. But uh, that, though, is going to be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a uh, goodbye.